Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Fable. In the last parts, we finished up the Velmore saga. I didn't expect it to actually be called that. And even fought a special Vilmore at the end. And it just kind of showed us that we are not ready for the end fights. But we still have plenty of energy, uh, plenty of Orb Saga left as well. Energy, fire, water, darkness. I don't even know what this one is. So, lots of different steps. You must progress the story more before this event takes place. Let's jump into Pipe Dreams. Travels to the Kingdom of Greenguard, the northwest of Falcon Reach floats a chained city of gnomes. Uh, Pops Rocket. Currently under the invasion by mechanical monsters, the gnome Yix requires your aid and effort to take back the city. It seems the elemental orb of energy may be involved. Time for a hero. Oh, well, hello there. Uh, working knowledge of Gnomus Magitech will take lots of studying, Jim. When you're ready to become a Technomancer, I'll be proud to have you some of my inventions. I must warn you. I will require a certain level of training. If you're at least 30... Okay, so basically, you lower your MP uh, and does more. Drive course is an extremely precise system. Gaining or losing too much wisdom in battle will force it to recalibrate, disabling it. So we need to use charge cogs, and I assume uh, we can rank up things too. But we actually have. Oh. Pretty interesting. I take it back. Terrible items. Uh, but we'll keep that in mind when we do do his random quests. But we've done enough little intermission stuff for this little bit. We're going to go right into his regular quest list. Five, six, seven, eight, oh. Oh. Probably not anything there. So, pipe dreams. Bathar's robots drove all of us here to the edge to... Wait a minute. Let's talk. We should do this part before I start the quests. Yix, a high-acting technocrat of Pop's Rocket. An, our normal high technocrat has fled the town along with most of the other residents and researchers. So I have so I have the other 37 people ahead of me. Oh, so have the other 37 people ahead of me. Actually, I'm the head of maintenance, but this is my home and I won't abandon it. Not much of a fighter, but I know every project in underway in Pop's Rocket. And if one of the nozzles is clogged in the suit machine, I'm the gnome for the job. No gnomes? Ever seen a gnome before? What do you do with your time? Gnomes are similar to dwarves. Not, we're a little shorter, not as stocky, but our brains couldn't work more differently. Gnomes are impossibly curious, natural inquisitive minds that make excellent researchers, engineers, and inventors. Sadly, our curiosity tends to lead to a lot of us to... Unusual ends. Did you know that more than 70% of all gnomes die in mechanical explosions? Pops Rocket's our main city, is this part of lore. But gnomes aren't afraid of traveling. We have camps and towns all over lore. We're to be the tallest race, but you'll find us most you'll find that most of us are loyal and fearless as we are curious. You're almost always in good company if you have a gnome for a friend. Yeah, I say, like these questions don't make sense. Pops Rocket, Gnome, and Who Are You all made sense, but that's like Balthar. Hopefully that's explained here. Pops Rocket's a gnomish city in this part of the world, center of research, scientific, and technomagical study. Most residents are gnomes, but we are open to all races who wish to further the cause of understanding. Not too long, we had a human inventor studying with us, but he turned his back on us when he dedicated his life to dentistry. And why he sees flying? Well, Eris Bowspire came up, wanted to become a floating city. Team of researchers found that heating the uh, ore gives us anti gravity powers, but they went a little overboard. I have to keep Pops Rocket chained or we'll fly off to space. Wouldn't that be fun? We're not prepared yet. Yeah, see, Balthar. There's no mention of Balthar in any of the discussion so far. Mega. Mech. 
I know it's like Magius, that weasel. He's a low-level researcher here in town only a few weeks ago. Doing grunt work for Section 13, mapping old steel tunnel, steam tunnels that worm their way through Pop's Rocket. Suddenly, he starts making these robotic minions he calls the Cyclone Army. Machines are way out of this league. I believe he found the lost orb of the last elemental orb of energy. Legends say it was found when Pop's Rocket was built on the remains of an ancient guardian tower. Part of the energy orb, who knows what kind of calamity the bolt crane might cause. Well, there's our reason to be here. The uh, day I sent you a letter asking for your help, a few flying eyeballs were seen around town. I can't say who's behind this, but if Sepulchre is looking for that orb too, the situation could be dire than we thought. We need to get to work. And get to work we shall. Pipe dreams. Drove us all here. We've been able to barricade ourselves to the... Okay, that's not showing up. Uh, to the outskirts. Can't open the barricade for you without risking everyone else, but there may be another way in. You can get the project delivery tunnels and open the four steam matrix gates. You'll have a safe way into town. You have to work fast. Once you activate the steam, you only have a short time to alter the matrix, so it will release the gate lock. There are intercom tubes in each gate, so when you're ready to start, I'll, let, I'll start the steam. Take too long, you can't fix the matrix, the pressure alarms will drive some cyclone guards. Don't worry, it's easier than it sounds, so I'll walk you through the, oh, the intercom tubes. Grab your wrench, we only have one shot at this. All right, Cyclone Centurion, weak to water, but has immobility resist. That's going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to run just as Mage for today because, honestly, Draco is taking out everything that we need to. Uh, testing. What, I'm at the first gate. What do I do now? First, stop yelling. I can hear you fine. It's your normal speaker volume. Next, you have to rework the steam matrix to open the gate. How do I do that? As soon as you approach the gate, the steam will start making its way in the matrix. You only have a short time before it fills the pipes. The steam will start in the upper left. Click the boxes to cycle through. Fill the path to the bottom right. The steam will only go in one direction, and it always goes straight when it can. Let me add it. All right, so we can see what our next piece is going to be here, and shouldn't be too bad. Oh, so the bottom is our next piece, and not the top. Also, I didn't even get to do anything. I thought it was going to start when I start. This guy has way more HP than that last guard did. Luckily, we do have Nova. We are not super worried here. Um. Ice. They don't resist light. Oh, I didn't realize he was still set to fire. That worked out in this case, but... Do my stats... Oh, I have strength and endurance. Oh, because I was doing the end fights, that's right. That is not the ones to be equipped with. Um, click anywhere. All right, so we start with a turn. Just trying to get, can I get something that works here? Good enough. Oh, that would've worked. I wonder if there's too many pieces, potentially. I need a turn. Is there a specific thing I can hit to just end this? It kind of reminds me of like the Bioshock puzzles, where you're open like a steam path. But ah, uh, this. That's been so long since I even... I hope I'm even still referencing that right. There doesn't seem to be a speed-up option for this. So, it's just going to slowly make it and be fine. You did it. I'm awesome. Yeah, why is just some of these guys... Um, 
unable to... Like, they only have 500 health, whereas the other ones have 1,800. As long as we do, like, any damage, Nova will kill. So, we're not super worried, but final is cheap on this build, so... Though it's not as strong as I'm used to, because what, we're only at... Yeah, 182%. Our non-crit damage does plenty, though. Just gonna click around until it does something that seems useful. Just build backwards at this point. This one did feel a lot faster. I'm just waiting on that piece. So this this um, seam is fast in the last one. So I wonder if they're just going to get consistently faster. In which case, good luck for me finishing up this last one. I'm awesome. I wonder what's to the left there. I'm worried it'll just be... Yeah, like, this looks like a different path I could take. I guess not. Also, he mentioned there would be an intercom at each of the doors. It does not seem like that's the case. So the solution is just to repeatedly click the next square and hopefully make a path. At least there's not like hidden alarms and stuff that you have to avoid. I seem to remember those being very annoying. Oh, it's hacking in Bioshock. That's what I'm thinking of. Because they have the little alarm squares as well. But you got a lot more control of it. All in all, I like the minigame. I hope they don't go too crazy with minigames in this area. Because, like, the there was also that quest in the ice one that was just, Oh, perfect. Can you um, just b do this match puzzle repeatedly? Charge Gog. Look at that. We've unlocked Technomancer. Or at least have the first part to it. Let's take a look at what the next quest is. Pop guns. Now we got a way into the city proper. We need to think of a way to get to Bathar and stop him. Getting through the Cyclone army won't be easy, but I think we'd hit a spot a lot. Steam tiles you clear. Oh, very close to Pop's Rockets. A experimental tool storage facility. Lots of things in there that, can, that the refugees can use to make our lives easier until we went back Pop's Rocket. But there are two very special tools I think we can... Uh, used to make a kind of super anti-cyclone weapon for you. First is called the Sparkane Sapper. Designed to sap all magic and electrical power from fuel cells. Used on certain machines, so it'd be safer to work on. They would just recharge them, repair when the parts are done. Second is the Rapid Freeze Sampler. Sample Saver. Built to flash freeze living plant specimens for transport and study. Put them together, you get a weapon that you can use in those robots. One shot baby will sap the power cells, freeze the water tanks, and the tank ice over their gears. Never know what hit them. Search Philly is very close to the Mecha Griffin Hatchery Factory. You have to pass past, you'll have to fight past the insane Mecha Griffins. Once you get to the storage facility, contact me through the talkie tubes. I'll give the key code to the door. Good luck. If you pull this off, it'll make stuff in Bethar a lot more possible. Mecha Griffins? Oh, that's cool. Hello there, Mecha Griffin. Not too worrying, honestly. You'll go down in the same way. Oh, you go down in a fiery bit. Pet, though. I wonder if there's a specific reason that we can't just have a Mecha Griffin on our team. 
Also, I want to test this. Oh, do I not have like a power attack? Not really. Okay. I say I wanted to see if just my regular attack that isn't a crit would do more, but. Not particularly. Luckily, we've got our a pretty solid, a pretty solid stat start to these. I should have went to. Now the Bowspire doesn't have a good high level water items. I remember the bacon weapons and the water weapons being things I'd always pick up there. But I haven't looked at the Battle Spire once yet, and now that I'm level ninety, I'm a little afraid to. Like I'm sure there are. Uh, training dummies that we can fight, but th getting the grand arena thing is like 3,000 or something trophies. It's an insane amount. I'm here. I've encountered a small wrinkle in the lamp. What's wrong? The tools aren't here. What? Tools have been stolen? Not exactly. The building's been stolen. That's incredible. But how is that possible? What's big enough to steal an entire industrial storage facility? I can think of one thing, and it's not good. Mother Zipcher, the Pop Sprocket experimental tool facility has been captured. Tools are being cataloged. Some of these inventions are amazing. These tools will give us a huge advantage in our battles, but there is bad news. Our spy and falcon reached reports that Gem is soulless. Ah, very eager to embrace the darkness. Is in the town below us, I know. I can sense them. That power is unmistakable. Are you worried, Sepulcher? I fear nothing. Gem is powerful, but they are only a single person. One small hero is no match for the Shadow Scythe. Don't be so sure. You were once a single knight, and look at you now. All over lore, people huddle in pools of light, terrified trying to keep the darkness back. It is a looting battle. The light is fading. Gem is one of the few remaining candles of hope. I will be the one to extinguish that candle. Just remember, the master plan for the hero is unfinished. I grow tired of this scheming, and I grow tired of Gem. If we pass cross again, if we cross paths again, you will do nothing. You will obey. We shall see. For now, I must concentrate on getting the energy orb. Time grows short, and that orb must be ours soon. Jakarth, prepare the skeletal army. Tomorrow we begin our siege of Prompt Sprocket. We're lucky, Jem will get caught in the crossfire. Well, alright. A war is on the horizon for Prompt Sprocket. The like. Can I get a good view of the city again? Not really. Well. How are you going to, like, approach this thing that's flying in the sky? Anyways, see you guys next time for... What's the quest called? Richard's Gear. Why is there one called Sitcom? We'll see. We will... No, you know what? It'll probably be the random quests. See you guys then.